Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to look at how to solve equations with pronumerals on both sides. For our first example we're going to be solving the equation 8x minus 3 is equal to 6x plus 9. This equation has got the pronumeral x on the left and the right hand side. What we're going to do is we're going to move the variable x onto the one side and so I'm going to start off by subtracting 6x from both the left and the right hand side. The 6x term will disappear from the right. On the left hand side we now have 8x minus 6x which is 2x minus 3 is equal to 9. We're now going to add 3 to both the left and the right hand side. This will eliminate the negative 3 from the left hand side so that we now have 2x is equal to 12. Next step we divide both sides by 2 and this gives us the answer of x is equal to 6. Here's another example. 4x plus 7 is equal to 7x minus 11. Again, we've got the pronumeral x on the left and the right hand side. We're going to subtract 7x from both the left and the right hand side. This will eliminate the 7x term from the right hand side. The left hand side, 4x minus 7x will give us negative 3x plus 7 is equal to negative 11. Next step, we subtract 7 from the left and the right hand side. The 7 will disappear from the left so that we now have negative 3x is equal to negative 18. To get rid of the negative 3x, we divide both sides by negative 3. This will give us a positive x is equal to 6. Sometimes the students ask me whether it is always the case that you've got to move the variable over to the left hand side and the answer to that is no. So I'm going to do the same example but this time I'm going to move the variable x over to the right hand side instead. So this time the same example 4x plus 7 is equal to 7x minus 11. I'm going to subtract 4x from both the left and the right hand side. The 4x will now disappear. So that we're left with 7 is equal to 3x minus 11. We're now going to add 11 to both the left and the right hand side. The negative 11 now disappears. So we get a positive 18 on the left is equal to 3x. And this time to solve for x, we simply divide by a positive 3, which will cancel out the 3 on the right hand side, giving us 6 is equal to x. Another word, x is equal to 6, which is the same answer as we did get before. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Hope you guys did find it helpful. If you did, please help support us by subscribing to our channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.